wife Susan got me involved with this. Thank you, dear. And this is a recipe, it's very simple, and it is a Lebanese salad. I'm of Lebanese descent, and it's just something that's come up through the years with the family. And I like it because it's refreshing. It utilizes cement, and you're able to use it with poultry, uh, any of your meats, and fish as well. And you're able to utilize it as a main course if you want by adding chicken and or fish on top of it. So this is uh, what I'm here to show you. What you do is you can use any lettuce that you want. I usually use the romaine. You can use regular iceberg if you want, but your greener lettuces have a little bit more nourishment, and that's why I use the romaine. Um, <clears throat> you go ahead and you take, as you can see here, I use the hot, uh, the hot house cucumbers. They have left seeds and tomatoes. If you use regular cucumbers, what I suggest you do is you take out a, a good amount of the seeds so that you don't have a lot of that loose seed going in the salad. So all you do is, as you can see, I've, I've cut up the, the lettuce and put it in a bowl. And you just put your cucumbers and your tomatoes right in there. You can also use red onion, and I've used that before. Uh, I forgot about it, but it is optional. Some people like onion, some people don't. So what I'm going to do instead, in this particular situation, I'm just going to use a little onion powder just to give it a little flavor. It's nice to have it, and if you had to measure it out, you're probably looking at maybe about a quarter to a half a teaspoon at the most. Uh, olive oil, vinegars, and lemon juice are used. Uh, and the easiest way to go about that is you're going to use uh, three parts lemon juice, uh, two parts of your olive oil and one part of your vinegar. So what I'm going to do right here first is to use the seasonings. Uh, Lowry season salt. Sprinkle a little bit of that in there. I normally don't measure but I'm doing it here. Garlic, granulated garlic. And the reason why you put the seasoning on before the liquids, this is salt regular table salt, just so that when you put the liquids on, it really mixes in nicely. Pepper. And the ingredient that I really like that's refreshing is mint, dried mint leaves, which is used quite a bit in Middle Eastern type of cooking. And then next, you would go ahead and you would put on your lemon juice and this is equivalent to about three tablespoons of lemon. You can use lemon juice like the real lemon or take a lemon and do it yourself. So we will go ahead and put that in there. And then here I went ahead and pre-mixed everything together, the vinegars and the olive oil for simplicity. And you mix that in there and please keep in mind that everything is to taste. I did wash my hands and when I mix my salads I use my hands. So as you can see you definitely want to use a bowl that's larger than what you're going to serve it in so that you have the ability to maneuver it around. See how we're doing that? And what this will do is evenly distribute all the seasonings and the liquids together. And you're able to move the bowl around with your hands and really work it. It's always a good conversation piece when you have guests over when they see you using your hands for everything. But that's the way it is in the old country. Silverware is a luxury back in the day. So once that's done, then I'll let it set for a few minutes and then we'll go ahead and we'll serve it. And I'll use a spoon when I stir it, just so you know. And that is it in a nutshell. A little footnote to this is that with the salad, you can also build on it. And in the old country, they did not let anything go to waste. So they would use their dry bread. It could be from a couple days old. They would break that dry bread, add it to the salad with... Uh, Alfonso olives, which is a big purple olive, 
I know Kalmatas are more prevalent and more cost efficient, but you can use either. But the Alphonse is really a good olive, some feta, and then what you did there is you would mix it in with this and that bread would suck up the juices and really give it a whole nother dimension uh, because nothing did go to waste. So I just wanted to let you know that you can do that. That's called fatouche. So there you have it.